Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Today I'm going to be showing you my take on an affordable Valentine's Day look. This was not even on my radar, I forgot we were even in February. January went so, so quickly. This was actually a request from one of the Pampered Wolf packs, so thank you very much for reminding me that Valentine's Day was fast approaching. I have since ordered Wes a little bit of a present as we don't over celebrate Valentine's Day. We have been married for a really long time, but we do like to make a little bit of an effort. Today's look is going to be semi-natural. I like my husband to be staring at me, the person that he fell in love with a really long time ago, rather than having to focus on staring through seven layers of product before he actually gets to any sort of skin underneath there, if you understand what I mean. Anyway, if you like the really done look, the really sexy, sultry look, there are products that you can add onto this look to just zhuzh it up a little bit. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna use my pore blur from a Revolution just on my large pore areas. And then I'm gonna take the hydrating primer from the same company, Revolution. They do some great products at Revolution. And I'm just gonna pop that all over the rest of my face. So I'm just gonna pop the pore blur where I have the large pores and just press that in with my fingers down my nose. Then, like I said, I'm gonna take the Hydrate Primer from Revolution. Revolution is a cruelty-free brand. Just take a little bit of that. This is very, very runny, very much like a, a thick serum and apply that everywhere else. This can get absolutely everywhere, by the way, so just be warned, it is a very, very thin product. A little does go a long way, and I do like to press that in underneath the eye area. I have already prepped my skin using all my skincare, but I do like to add a little bit of hydrating primer underneath my eyes. So once that's done, I'm gonna pop a little bit of concealer on my lids because I'm gonna be doing my eye makeup first. I like to do my eye makeup first so I can clean up any fallout and make the eye look a lot cleaner. So usually I would then set that concealer in place to get a better blend of eyeshadows but I'm only going to be using one eyeshadow and it's going to be very very subtle today so I would actually like that to really stick and adhere to the lid so I'm going to leave that completely unset. The palette that I'm going to be using today I have used several times on my channel. This is a great palette also from Revolution. All the products I've used so far are Revolution. I am going to be switching brands in a second by the way. This is the Maxi Reloaded palette in Large It Up from Revolution. You get loads of different shades in there. They are all neutrals, really, really beautiful shades. And I'm just gonna keep it very, very natural and go into this shade here, which is a gray silver shade. And I'm gonna go with my finger and just apply that all over the lid. So once I've done that, I'm gonna take my Reef 16 brush and although this is not a matte shade and I don't recommend that you do this if you've got really hooded eyes, I'm gonna take my brush, dip it into exactly the same shade and just take that into the crease and slightly above the crease just to blend it out a little bit. Remember, because we're doing the eye look first, you can be as messy as you like and clean that up a little bit later. So we can go all the way down here and not worry about it at all. So straight after the eyeshadow, I am picking up my number seven Stay Perfect Metallic Eyes Pencil. This is such a super, super soft eye pencil. So if you suffer with crepiness on the surface of your eyes, don't worry, this is very, very easy to smudge out. You will not have to drag the skin with this, but it's also a little bit difficult to sharpen because it's so soft. So just be warned when you are buying this product. This is in the shade Camouflage and it is the most beautiful khaki green olive metallic shade with flecks of gold in there but it's also quite a cool tone flex in there as well so any eye color would benefit from this so nice really beautiful product 
and I'm just going to very messily draw a line close to the lash line. So I was quite generous with the amount of product that I applied. Very messy, it's definitely not a neat line, but it is staying quite close to the lash line. And then it's got a smudger on the other end, so I'm just gonna take that smudger and just feather out the edges to create quite a smoky look. This will set down after a while, so you don't have to work super quick with this but the quicker the better as far as I'm concerned. So this just blends really beautifully into the silver eyeshadow that we've just laid down on the lid. Okay, so I am gonna leave my lashes. I'm not gonna put anything on my lashes just yet because I do find that the number seven pencil does take a little bit of time to set. And I like to curl my lashes and I find that every time I've used this or maybe even a liquid liner say, it takes a little bit of time for those to dry down so that it doesn't transfer onto my eyelash curlers. So I'm gonna leave my lashes for a little bit and go on to my foundation. Now the foundation I'm gonna to use today, I actually used in my affordable Christmas look as well. I think this is available in a lot of places. This is the Healthy Foundation Brightening Complex from Physicians Formula. You need to Google this to see where it's available because sometimes this is only available online in specific countries and it might not be available absolutely everywhere, but I've got a feeling this is available quite widely now. So I'm just gonna apply that to my skin. This has a doe foot applicator, not a um, pump, which <laughs> is the only thing that I would change about this foundation, but it's a really beautiful consistency. I'm gonna be using another brush from Brush Junkie. These were sent to me completely free of charge in PR. Um, and with no expectation of review or mention, which I like companies that are that um, confident about their brand that they will send you products without any expectations whatsoever. And I love them. This is an amazing foundation brush. If you've got dry skin, this is the Flat Kabuki foundation brush. If you've got dry skin and you struggle to find a brush that doesn't create that sort of microdermabrasion swirl on your skin and make your skin look drier than it actually is, check out these brushes. They are vegan, they are cruelty free, they are super, super soft. So I just find this gives a really lovely natural finish on my skin. I've been very, very happy with them since I've been using them and I highly recommend them. To such an extent, I contacted the company last week and said that I'm absolutely loving these brushes. They're gonna send me out some spares so that I don't run out. And also they have agreed to give you a 50% off coupon code. I do not get any monetary benefit from this code whatsoever. This is not an affiliate link. This is just a 50% off code for you to use. So if you are interested in these brushes and you want to buy them, the code will be listed in the description box. But use the code, don't use the code. I don't get any benefit, it's just money off for you. Why not use it? So I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna try and build up the coverage even though you can still see a little bit of my acne scar in. I am gonna be adding products on top of it like bronzer and blush. So it's not gonna look as evident once all the other products are on there. And I am going for a more natural, sultry look, if that makes sense. So I have seriously prepped my under eyes because I'm going to be using some products that can be quite drying on the under eye, especially this first one. So this is the Revolution Conceal and Correct. It's their peachy toned color corrector and I am literally going to put the tiniest dot on my skin, there and there. So I have put moisturizer underneath my eyes and I've also put the Hydrate um, Primer on underneath my eyes, which is also from Revolution. I'm gonna take the same little brush from Brush Junkie and I'm just going to very, very lightly feather that over my dark, circle area just to cancel the dark circles out 
I'm not putting this product anywhere else other than over my dark circle. So this isn't a reflective product, this is one of those that will just cancel out the dark circles and then you apply a concealer over the top. And the concealer that I've been loving at the moment is another one from Revolution. This should be a full face of Revolution. It's not, by the way. But anyway, this is the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite. Big difference, this is the Infinite version and it is brand new. Now this one, the reason I like this one is because it has more coverage than the original Conceal and Define, but it's also not as drying as the original Conceal and Define. I've gone for the shade C3 because my usual shade of C2 was not available. The store was bare. As soon as this came on, it was going off the shelves. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of product, let's add a little bit more, on my face and then take a damp blending sponge. Really, really important with this product. Again, this is less drying than the original Conceal and Define, but it's still not as hydrating as the Conceal and Hydrate. So you do need to bear that in mind if you have dry under eyes. Pop that on with the damp blending sponge. This is really good coverage. So if you do suffer from really dark circles, then this is a great one to go for. So once that's in place, I'm going to go back over it with my damp blending sponge, make my funny face and add a little bit of powder to set that in places in the areas that really need setting, which is right underneath my lash line and in the corner here. And for that, I'm really sorry, I'm gonna be using another Revolution product. This is by Revolution Pro and it is the Hydra Matte Setting Powder. It's a translucent powder, so again, one shade fits all, but let's get some on. I don't find this to be a drying powder because, like I've said in a lot of videos before this one, it's got infused hyaluronic acid. I can't speak and do this, can I? It's just impossible. It's got infused hyaluronic acid in there, so it does plump out the skin a little bit more. But again, a little goes a really long way. Don't try and apply too much of this product, otherwise you'll be in a bit of a mess. <laughs> Fabulous, all done, dusted. Let's move on to the next step. So I'm gonna do brows. You've all seen me do brows a million times and you all know which product I'm gonna choose. It, this is the NYX Microbrow Pencil in Ash Brown. You can't go wrong with the NYX Microbrow Pencil. It's quite sturdy. If you want something really, really soft, this probably isn't gonna be for you. I would go for the e.l.f. Microbrow Pencil or I can't remember what exactly what it's called, but the e.l.f. one is really good as well. And it's a lot softer than this one. So if you want a soft product, I would go for that one. But I'm gonna go for the NYX one. I find that it's really beautiful consistency. It allows me to be quite heavy handed without getting too much product on my brow and making them look unnatural. So just gonna do my brows as you would have seen me do a million times and I'll be right back. So once I've done the outline of my brows, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Bear With Me um, Brow Setter. I use this all the time. You've seen me use it all the time. I just like to flick it through the brows just to give them a little bit of body to make them sit where I want them to. I love this product. I actually haven't found one that's better than this yet. And that includes high-end brands. So this is worth its weight in gold for me. So now I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Liner in black. This is a matte black product. It's really nice and I love the way that it, you can get it really quite high up, so you're not gonna poke yourself in the eye with the plastic around the edge. And I'm just going to do a little bit of tight lining on the upper and lower lashes. So 
So once that's done, I am going to go straight back into this silvery gray shade that we put all over the lid. Please do not pay any attention to all of the finger marks that are on the top of this palette. It is well used, shall we say, I really ought to wipe it down with some disinfectant. I'm gonna put that on using my Reef 13 brush. And I'm just gonna drag that all the way underneath the lower lash line, including right into the corners. And then keep on going and flick that out a little bit, just so it lifts the eye up in the corner. Just follow the natural line of the lower lash line when you're doing that part and just keep on lifting. Really pretty. Then I'm gonna go and use the number seven Stay Perfect liner again, just on that lower waterline. I'm gonna go very close to the lash line. And I'm not gonna go all the way to the corner. I'm gonna stop where the lashes stop. And then take the smudger on the other end and just smudge that out a little bit. But instead of smudging down like I did on the upper lid, well, I smudged up on the upper lid, instead of smudging down, I'm gonna to smudge to the sides because I don't wanna drag that too far down underneath the lash line. Otherwise, it'll be a little bit too grungy rather than sultry. So once I've done that, I'm gonna take my brush, my big powder brush from Brush Junkie, and I'm gonna pop that into the Revolution powder, knock off all the excess back into the tub and also into the air around us. And I'm just going to set the rest of my face very, very lightly, because I do still want a bit of glow on the face, because I think glowiness is a really youthful look. So I need to put a little bit of warmth back into my face and for that I am reaching for an oldie but goodie. You'll have seen me use this quite a long time ago if you followed me back in the day. I use this one all the time. This is from The Body Shop and this is, I think it's called their Honey Bronzer. It is the perfect shade. It's quite neutral. It's got the right amount of warmth but not too much so you're not going to look orange. It's not too light, it's not too dark, so if you have a skin tone that is as pale as mine, this is the shade to go for. So this is 03, and I'm going in with my IT Cosmetics Heavenly Lux number seven all over brush. This is a really, really dense brush, so I love using it for dabbing on rather than swiping on bronzer or contour or anything like that. I find that this is a really precise brush to do that with. Again, you can be quite heavy handed with this product because it's a beautiful shade, it's not too dark. You can get quite a lot on your skin and you can just buff that in. So you're not going to put a tiny bit on your skin and go, oh my goodness, which I've done with many a bronzer in the past. So I'm just gonna take that around my jawline as well, just to define the jawline. By the way, I've just found a little bit of glitter on my forehead. I did a review of the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals palette the other day and I actually removed all my eye makeup at the end of the day whilst I was in the bath and I'm still finding glitter in places where, believe me, there should not be glitter. So I've left my eyes for long enough so that pencil should have set by now. I'm gonna curl my lashes and add a lick of my favorite mascara, which is by NYX. This is the On The Rise mascara. If you are a regular to my channel, you will already know this. You will have seen me use this all the time on my channel. I think it's around about 10 pounds, so super affordable and absolutely phenomenal on the lashes. So I'm gonna get some of that on. Oh, 
Okay, so that is two coats on the top lashes, one coat on the lower lash, and I just think it finishes off the eye look absolutely beautifully. This is really, really sultry and rather sexy eye look. So I want to keep the rest of my face quite flirty and natural, and I don't think there's anything more flirty and girly and beautiful and glowy than a flushed cheek. So my two options that I've picked out today are, one is from Revlon, one is from L'Oreal, and I think I'm gonna go more down the pink side. So I'm gonna go for the Revlon blush in the shade Rosy Rendezvous, and just pop that on the apple slightly, but not too low down, and pad that up the face just to give that lifted look. I really like this, I think it's very natural, really fresh, very subtle, not too in your face, it doesn't have a sparkle in there, it's just a matte which allows the skin to shine through which I think is very very pretty. Okay, so the finishing touch is obviously going to be lips and I'm always in a quandary on Valentine's Day, in fact in general what to actually put on my lips because I'm a bit of a gloss girl, we all know I like a bit of gloss on my lips, but Wes doesn't always want to kiss me when I have gloss on because it transfers and it can be quite sticky and messy and you know, I actually want him to want to kiss me on Valentine's Day. Of all the occasions, that is the occasion where I'm going to make it as easy as possible for him to give me a quick smooch. Anyway, the other alternative was to go for a matte lipstick and matte lipsticks can be quite drying. So I've gone for something slightly in between. This is another product from number seven. I've used this in my full face of number seven and it's absolutely beautiful. This is the High Shine Lip Crayon and it is in the shade Daydreamer, which is very close to my natural lip color. So if some does transfer, he's not gonna look too silly because it's a natural color. I also don't wanna take away from the eye look either and I don't want something too dramatic on the lips. So I just want to keep it very fun and girly and flirty. This just adds a tiny bit of a sheen to the lip and a bit of a shine also without it being sticky. It feels really hydrating and very pleasant on the lip. So that's it, that's my affordable Valentine's Day makeup completed. I really hope you like it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section below. I wanted to create something that was not only affordable, but it was achievable and wearable for absolutely everybody, no matter what age you are. You can make this look a lot more subtle by using a lighter shade on the lid. And you can also make it more dramatic by using a darker shade or also a darker lip if you want to really, really go for it. Completely up to you, the principles still apply. I really, really like it. And most importantly, for Valentine's Day, I know Wes will love this. So do let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There is a watermark in this corner. If you click on it, it will take you through to my homepage where you can subscribe. And I'm also on Instagram if you want to follow me on there. It's at Pampered Wolf, all lowercase, no spaces. I'll link all the products that I've used today in the description box. Hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.